for the delay, child. Y'all know I be going from platform to platform. So we just finished on Instagram. I'm not normally here on Friday nights, but I feel like people are doing, people come in on Friday nights because they don't got to work late. So let me put the link in the, um, bio. I'm going to put the link in the comment section for YouTube and Facebook. So first, let me put it on the YouTube. Um, all right, so if you want to join the show, the link is in the bio section, excuse me, comment section on YouTube. And now let me add it in the Facebook comment section um, to join show all right this way you guys can join the show it's a way i'll be learning how to pin it sometimes on facebook i learn how to pin it pin all right so i pinned it i put it a couple times in the facebook comment section all right house rules 21 and older have good wi-fi have good light no videos come down. Kendra G, that's me. I'm not reliable or liable for anybody you meet. Whoever you meet is on you, boo. Um, no videos come down. Only come on the show if you're willing to be a highlight. All right. Am I blurry? I was blurry on the other platforms. Hopefully, we're not still having that issue. I got it. Lamar Jackson, stand up so I can see your full, your full house. I can't see you, Lamar. I got to see your face. Show me your room. Stand up. Lamar, you got to stand up. I can't see you. Okay. I think we could. Lamar. I can't hear you, boo. Turn on the um, volume. Hello? I can't hear you. Turn your volume on. Hello? Hello? Woo, look at that voice. You ready? I look good. <laughs> How are okay. you? I'm good. Just get in good light for me. But this might be fine. Okay, I think you're fine. It's just my light. You ready, babe? Yeah. Okay, Lamar. Is your name Lamar? Yes. Lamar? I was on your show before. I don't recall. Was you on with me? Yeah. When, when were I you on the show? I think it was like a couple months ago. I didn't do so well because I think my remember I didn't have a phone. I was going through some stuff there. I didn't have a phone, so I was using my son's phone. And uh nah, it didn't go so well at okay, all. Okay, we can do it again, but you, you gotta get situated, Lamar. All this moving is too much. Is it? I'm sorry. Okay. Are you situated now? Yeah. The phone study? Okay, let's try it again. So, Lamar, where you call me from? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. You have any children? Yeah, I have two. Two kids. How old are your kids? Twelve and nine. Twelve and nine. Both by the same woman? Yes. Okay, have you ever been married? No. No. What do you do for a living, Lamar? Uh, right now, I Lamar, am not. Stop moving, honey. It irritates people when you move from it. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's my hand holding my phone. Okay. Um, what question did I asked you last? Oh, you said, "Have you ever been married?" You said, "No," right? Yes, okay. I have not what been married. What do you do for a living? Right now, I am not working. I'm a stay-at-home father. Some stuff had happened, and my house got robbed, so I was very paranoid to leave my children while I worked, so I quit. There's a lot of stuff going on. And my dad passed, so, yeah, I'm just going through a lot of that depression. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How are you paying your bills? Right now, just anything I can. I'm doing catering and stuff like that. It's just like... I'm going through a lot of depression and like just figuring out who I am. And, you know, you know, when you lose somebody, you can just see like a lot of fakeness and people. And most of the time when I'm with somebody or with somebody I like, it's just their intentions are not bad. They use me and, you know, stuff like that. I just, I'm too old and I have kids. So I'm just looking for like a friendship, really. Well, I was going to say with all this going on, do you feel like you're in a position to meet somebody right now? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I would like to, but I don't want to, like, keep on being in, like, the Debbie Donner stage or just, like, depression. I'm a Gemini. I'm not, like, 
I'm not really a, a Debbie Downer, but like lately I have been. So, but I just wanted to give it a try and come back on here because last time I got laughed at. I wasn't together. I mean, I was kind of like saying stupid stuff. So, like dealing with you, there's like a lot of things that come with it. Like you know, people. I mean, and then, you know, you're broadcasting a lot of people. So, like, it's just like, okay, maybe I should try it again, you know, let them see how I am because I was nervous the last time. Like I said, I was just, I wasn't myself. I'm better now. Well, most people might say that, you know, you're currently not working. You admitted that you're dealing with some depression. They might think that you're just not ready to, to date at this moment. Yeah. Well, that might be true. To them, but I know what I want. So. so you feel as though you are in a position to date? Yeah, I'm not here for your audience. I'm here for you, and hopefully somebody well, can no, see. You're here for the audience. You're here for a, a well, woman not for, that well, wants to date you. Not, not for the like the negativity. That's what I should say. Okay. Well, let's. Okay. If you want to proceed, we will. Lamar, Columbus, Ohio. Dad of two kids. He's a stay-at-home dad. You say you're a Gemini, right? Yes. I can't remember. Are your two kids by the same woman? Yes. Yes. Have you ever been married? Nope. No. And what are you not working? Um, nope. What kind of woman are you looking for? Well, I like guys too. <laughs> oh, are you here for a man? Yeah. Okay. Are your kids bi? Were you in a, Are you bisexual? Yeah. So you were dating women and you had children? Yes. And like she was abusive and it just didn't work out. Like she doesn't do anything for my kids. So I just took the row and got custody of them and I just do it like one day at a time. So how long have you been dating men for? That's been like all my life I dated men and women. Oh, okay. Like, so my kid's mom my kid's mom is bisexual too. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so it, was, it, was very under, it was very understanding. Like, it wasn't like I was hiding it. She knew. So I'm an honest person. You're an honest person. All right. So tonight you're focusing on men only. Now, whoever. I, I, I would prefer a man more than a woman, but who knows? Maybe that's not my angle no more. I don't know. So... <laughs> But no, I do like, I don't really have a preference. I'm really not a picky person, but I, I can honestly look at a woman and say she's beautiful. I can look at a man and say he's beautiful. It, it just like, that's both ways. So for me, just for clarity, do you want to say you're looking for both men and women? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got Lamar, Columbus, Ohio, dad to two. Um, he's a, he has custody of his children. He's a stay at home dad, currently not working. Um, he's a Gemini, open to men and women. So what are the qualifications for a man or a woman that you're looking for? I'm just going to say like 40 and up, dark skin. You know, I, I really just like, like Sagittarius and Gemini's. I don't know. It's just, I mean, that's who I attract mostly is like, um, Sagittarius and um, Gemini's and Leo's. I don't know why, but that's I noticed that a lot. Okay, Sagittarius and Gemini's. What are your deal breakers? Um, deal breakers is just I just don't like want anybody just to like just be like, oh yeah, he's like nothing. He's on here looking for love and he doesn't have no. I'm well put together and stuff like that. I just want somebody that's open-minded, really like drama-free, you know, just cool, laid back. I'm just a chill person and, and kind of want the same understanding, that too. But when it comes down to that, I'm cool. Like, that's not that picky. Okay. What about looks? Does the man or woman have to look a certain way? Um... I just prefer no light skinned people. I don't light know. That's me. <laughs> I know, but I, I try. I like dark skinned people. That's just like what I've always dealt with. Even the men don't want light skinned men. Damn. Nah, too preppy for me. <laughs> too what? Too preppy. Too preppy. 
Through property. Okay. What about money? Does the man or woman have to make a certain amount of money? No, I think as long as I we have like a goal plan or something, like I said, I just want to be friends. I want to start a friendship. I don't want to go in there deep or, you know, go in there thinking like looking for something that I know that right now, like you said, I don't think I'm ready for. I just want to take it like a friendship and then like to see where it goes like like that. OK, now you have two um, two boys. Yes. Do you mind if the man or woman has children already? No, nah, because I have children. That's why I like men more because I think like when I see a guy with his children, that's more attractive and like like I like women like like stuff like that. I like to do stuff like that's family bound. No, our kids like I don't have to necessarily let them meet my kids, but it's just good to know that somebody is a parent like that. Because most people I date that don't have kids, they're not really understanding a lot at all. And it bothers me. So, nah, I'd just rather date, date somebody with a child. Okay. Let's do the kids or can. That's where you stand up and we see your full body. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to stand my phone, but, like, can you see me? Or do I have to Star. step this way? Like, this way? I don't know, Kendra. Can you see me? <laughs> okay, we can see you, but we got to see your legs. My what? Your legs. Like, okay. that leg? Okay. I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> you're all right. You're all right. Lamar, when was your last relationship? I, I never had, like, a relationship. I just, like, had hookups. I'm going to say, like, Thanksgiving. <laughs> was your, yeah. last, your last hookup or relationship? No, I never had a relationship. I just have hookups. So your children's mom, that was just a hookup too? No, that was actually that was like ten years ago though. I haven't like been in a relationship since her. Okay. So um so I wanna be clear. Was last November Thanksgiving was that are you saying just that was the last time you had sex? Yes. Okay. Um, you don't have to, oh, you do. What are three flaws you have to work on? Uh, just maybe, um, that's a good question, Kendra. <laughs> um, just maybe not being so, like, you know, how you, one person treats you bad, you think everybody's, like, out to get you. I think that's, like, a weaker link for me, like, going into with uh trying to be with somebody with kids it's like you gotta think smart you gotta like kind of you kind of gotta like be prepared and smart because you just don't want to bring nobody around your kids so i try to be like tippy toe about that but i just don't want it works both ways so i don't want nobody to think like that about me either so kind of get it okay jim and i kennedy spent five dollars to ask you this question he said kendra please ask him is he a May or June Gemini? Oh, yeah. I, I know where they're getting. Because it's a big difference. Like, June Geminis are really aggressive and mean. And my dad was one of them, unfortunately. But I'm a May. I'm a May Gemini. I was, like, born on the 28th. Okay. Well, Gemini, Gemini Kennedy was hoping you were a May Gemini, not a June Gemini. Yeah. I'm a May. <laughs> so, Gemini Kennedy, who spent $5. For me to ask that question, he is a Gemini, not a June Gemini. All right, so that question got got answered. All right, okay. Um, what? Why mm -hmm. would I, what's the age range you want to date, Lamar? Oh, how old are you, Lamar? I'm thirty six. Remember, I said forty. I went forty and up. Forty and up. Should the man be in Columbus, Ohio? Yeah. Yeah. And they can look me up on my Facebook. It's Jackson Lamar. Okay, wait till we get there. Um, why sorry. would a man be lucky to be with you? Because I'm really fun. I'm outgoing. Um, I'd rather see somebody smile. You know, I always keep smiles on people's face. I'm caring. I'm caring right now, and I shouldn't be. But, uh, you know, I just believe in, you know, you just do stuff from your heart. You don't do it for a cookie. And I teach my kids that, like, you always do something from the heart. You see somebody that might be struggling, open the door for them. You know, you, you just never know. So I'm very good on that. I have people tell me, 
I should have been married a long time ago, but I'm like, nah, not this world today. No, but no, I am very caring. I, I give my lives. That's just something that I was raised about. Good hospitality. I love cooking. I love to clean. I love the, to work. It's just like I said, right now, it's my downtime, but we always get back up and we keep going, you know. But I do thank you because you takes a lot to be on your show, Kendra, and you're very beautiful, you're intelligent. I sit back and watch, how did I know you're gonna click me first? I would've put a little makeup on, you know, straighten this little fade up or something. <laughs> nah, makeup for guys is like, you know, brush it down, slick it up, you know, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay. I was actually in bed when you clicked me, so that's why I ran downstairs because I was in bed and the boys were watching wrestling with me. I didn't want you to see all that. <laughs> okay, I understand. Now, Lamar, you're 36. Did you tell me the age? Oh, you said you'll date 40 and up, right? Okay. And do you want to get married? Yeah, eventually. But I'm not going to rush it at all. All right, well, let's, well, what qualities do you feel as though make you a husband? You said what? What qualities make you a husband? Like I said, I'm, I'm a go-getter. I'm a Gemini. I, I do everything that a husband should do. Like, I cook, I clean, I work, I, I provide a way. Like, that's the number one question everybody say today. Like, how do you pay your bills if you haven't been working? I'm a dad. I'm a go-getter. I'm going to make sure my bills are paid. I don't have it. Can't be looking for a man or a woman on the street. But that's one thing about me is I'm a hustler. My dad calls me Domino because... You can put me in the middle of nowhere and I'll get back home before he will. That's just something we always do. <laughs> okay, yeah, Huspa. Let's do it. We got Lamar, 36, Columbus, Ohio, Zad to two, currently not working. He's a Gemini. I'm open to men and women. It seems like men are the preference, though. All right. So yep. how, how can the man reach out to you, love? My Facebook is Jackson Lamar. So um, what's the name backwards? Yeah. Okay. Jackson Lamar. Jackson Lamar. All right, Lamar, you keep me posted how it goes, love. Yes, and you have a wonderful week, and I appreciate you. I definitely was ready this time because last time, woo, you gave me the business. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy you was ready this time, love. All right, bye, baby. Right. See ya. Bye-bye. All right, let's see who we got next. Laura, stand up for me, Laura. Laura Danny. I can't see your full name. Laura Danny, stand up. Stand up, Laura. Okay, let me see. All right, I think I can see you. Hello. Hi. Hey, is your name Laura? It, I go by Danielle. I'm going to call you Danielle. Danielle, where are you calling us from? Atlanta, Georgia. ATL in the building. How old are you? I am 49. 49, you look good. Thank you. What did you do for a living? I am a paralegal for the U.S. Postal Service. Paralegal for the Postal Service. Um, you have any children? I do. I have two grown children. My daughter is 24. My son is 30. Okay. Both by the same man? No. No. Have you ever been married? Yes. Yes. When did, how many, once or twice? Twice. I married both my kids' fathers. Okay. When did you get divorced last? Uh, 2007. Okay. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer. So we got Danielle, Atlanta, 49, cancer, a paralegal for the post, postal services. Um, two grown children, 24 and 30, was married to two men, but was married to both of their fathers. What kind of man are you looking for, Danielle? Okay, Kendra. First of all, he must submit to the authority of God, have a relationship, be able to get in God's space and pray. Uh, sense of humor, because I love to laugh and have a good time. Like to travel, kind, empathetic, good communicator, and ambitious. Family oriented. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Uh, smokers, drugs, convicted felons, and okay, I'm getting nervous. Someone who's not willing to go to church and serve. Okay. Got to be willing to go to church. Look a certain yes. way. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, now I can. It went out for a minute. 
Oh, my apologies. Should he look a certain way? Do you have a looks requirement? No. No. What about money? Do we got to make a certain amount of money? No, but he needs to be financially stable. What does that mean when you say financially stable? Pays his bills, able to pay his mortgage, rent, car note, bills, insurance, uh, utilities. Okay, okay. All right, let's do the kids or cam. Okay. You had me stand up in the beginning. I was like, you was like, stand up. Yeah, I had to check out um, the, the pages before I select them. All right, you got a booty. We'll see you. Okay, okay. So this is Danielle Atlanta, 49, cancer, paralegal, post office, mine two grown children. When was your last relationship? I've had situationship. I can't I say 2019. Okay. Um, when, you don't have to answer. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm not answering. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Overthinker, patience, and better listener. Okay. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Danielle? He would be lucky to be with me because I'm going to go to God about him. Okay. Supportive. I'm going to encourage him. And I'm going to believe in him. Okay. Do you want to get married again? I do. You do. What quality? You was married twice. What qualities do you feel as though make you a wife? Uh, supportive, encouraging. And like I said, when something is going on, going wrong, I'm going to go to God about it. We're going to pray about it. And we're gonna okay. See, I was all about the good Lord. Yes. You're 49. What's the age range you would date? 38 to 58. Should he be in Atlanta? No, he doesn't have to be. It's okay. So you, will re you will relocate? I'm open to it. Okay, let's do it. So, Danielle, Atlanta, 49, cancer, paralegal at a post office, a mom of two grown children, married twice. How can the guy reach out to you, honey? Uh, Laura Danielle on Facebook and on Instagram. It is forever Danny. I think it's, you know, when I see people not know their Instagram, I'm like, how do you not know your Instagram? But I think it's four underscore ever Danny. Well, what is your Facebook? So she know that for sure. Facebook is Laura Danielle. Laura Danielle. <laughs> All right, boo, you keep me posted how it goes, honey. I will, Kendra. Thank you. Right. You're welcome, girl. Hi, Hi. baby. All right. Um, Tiffany, Nicole, stand up for me, honey. Stand up. Show me your room. Okay. Hello? I can't hear you, honey. I had that on you. Hi. Hi. Is your name Tiffany? Yes. You ready, I'm so nervous. Look, I sent my friends a voice message and I told them, I said, next week I'm getting on this show and I want everybody to do a round table and call in. And I clicked on and I got on. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Don't All be nervous, right. Tiffany. Where you calling me from, sweetheart? I am calling you from Mexico. Mexico. Do you live in Mexico? What part? Merida, Mexico. Okay. How old are you, Tiffany Book? I'm 37. 37. What you do for a living? Um, I'm a corporate recruiter. Corporate recruiter. Do you have any children? I do. I have four. Four kids. How old are your four kids? 20, 18, 16, and 6. Six, 20, 18, 16, and six. Are they all by the same man? No. Um, my first two, I was younger. Um, they're by the same man. Um, my 16-year-old, uh, her father passed. And my six-year-old's dad is my ex-husband. Okay. So you were married once? Yes. When did you get divorced? Like four years ago. Why'd y'all get divorced? Um, we're just, I think we were just on different pages of a chapter in the book. 
Um, I noticed that I, you know, what I had in the marriage is not really what I wanted. Um, so I made a conscious decision to let it go. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for the experience. Um, but, um, I, I'm glad I let it go. I was able to, you know, like travel and, you know, do things like that. So it worked out. Okay. So we got, okay. So Tiffany, Mexico, she's a corporate recruiter, mom to four, by three men, one passed away and one was her ex-husband. What's your zodiac sign? Gemini in May. Gemini in May. All right, honey, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, I am just looking for a good person. Um, what I mean by a good person, just someone who will do the right thing. Um, or I know no one is perfect, but just really try to do the best to do the right thing in everything they do. If it's with family, if it's with business, if it's with friends, um, just really try to um, put your best foot forward. Um, and uh, yeah, just try to do the right thing. All right, what are your deal breakers? Um, um, my deal breakers is, um, trying to be careful with these words um no drama like just at all i am at a time in my life where i want to wake up in sun sunshine and i want to be treated right and i don't want no drama i don't want no baggage um any of that just good times good times what um does he have to look a certain way i'm not into looks uh i am it's really important on how you treat me okay um what about money do we gotta make a certain amount of money yes um i travel uh a lot and um I know that, you know, we're in a economy where we are now, but um, no less than 100000 a year. No less than 100 k a year. Your ex-husband made that, I'm assuming. No. No? Why is it a requirement now, then? Um, when I married my ex-husband... I was at a point in my life, I was 30, I had been searching for love. Um, and I had a moment where I felt like I was asking for too much. Um, as the marriage went on, that was one of the reasons why we couldn't continue. Um, and now I feel like I know what my worth is and I know I'm not asking for too much. Okay, look, I got people are paying me to ask you questions. So Pro, Pro Octaver um, sent $4.99, $5 to say, do you want 100,000 in pesos or US money? US, that's a really good question, US. Okay, that US, so that was a good question. All right, so you wouldn't date a man that made less than 100 k No. No, not an option. Okay. No. Let's let's do the Kendra cam. I took a shower. I was ready for bed. But guess what? We are going to show y'all my pajamas. Woo! You got clothes on? Okay. All right, you look like you're in good shape. Oh. Oh, hi, baby girl. Ooh. That is your six-year-old. Yes. Uh, she's trying to show that she's trying to do the Kendra camp too. Yes. She is like, what is happening? What is going on? Okay. So, Tiffany, when was your last relationship? Um, my ex-husband, like four years ago. Okay. 
You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Okay. Are you waiting for your rela a relationship? Um, I... I'm just waiting, not for anything in particular. I'm just being very intentional with myself and my time and who I share energy with um, now. So no good energy has come around in a long time. Okay. Um, you're 37. What's the age range you want to date? Um, 45 to coffin. 45 to death. Yeah, I, I like them older. 45 to 60. And I mean 60 with a lot of life in them. Like these salt and pepper gangs, these older guys is looking good. And I'm really happy that I'm almost 40. So it's okay. We can go all the way there. Okay, okay. Do you want more kids? No. No. Okay. No, no more kids. Could he have kids already? Yeah, I don't mind kids. I feel like with the age range that I'm looking for, um, just I know I have a, a younger child. Um, I'm just not looking for someone that has multiple younger children or that whole type of situation. I I played, you know, stepmom and I don't mind doing it again. Um I would like to just limit it to a certain amount. Maybe okay. one or two. One or two kids that they have. Yes. You have yes. three kids though. I you have, have four kids. I have four. I have four. Um the two older ones are out the house living their best life. My 16 year old will be um, in college because uh, she's graduating early. And then I have the baby. I noticed in my last relationship that my ex-husband had multiple kids and I did that family unit thing. Um, and it's not like I don't want to, but I feel like I'm at a stage where I'm not looking to like that be my role, if that makes sense. Okay. I don't know. I, I never asked for money. So this is crazy that I'm getting all these paid comments tonight. Um, I had another paid comment. Uh, God, actually, I, I can't find it now. Um, it was from a man. He spent four ninety nine to say he wanted me to say this. He feels as though your requirements are a lot for what you're asking for. Do you agree with that? No, no, not at all. Um, being a, a traveler, and I know that I'm only thirty seven, but I I've lived a very you know, long life. I had relationships and I've learned a lot. Um, and I think what I've learned and what I feel like I'm at at this moment, it's not too much for, to ask. Okay. Okay. All right. And is marriage to go? Um, I am open to it. It doesn't have to be marriage. I am really looking to have a connection that will naturally lead wherever it's supposed to lead at that time. Okay. Um, another question. <laughs> okay. So, pro, oh oh, well, pro vector, I think it's the second paid question. He sent me five more dollars. He wants me to ask you, have you been drinking tonight? No. Oh. <laughs> she has not been drinking. Okay. No, okay. I had a long day, but no, I haven't been drinking. He hasn't been drinking. Okay. Tiffany, what are your three flaws you have to work on? Um, I procrastinate a lot. I'm I'm working on that. Um, the procrastination, um forgiving. Um I, I've 
I have to understand that maybe people, you know, make mistakes and stuff like that and just look at the bigger picture and be more willing to forgive. Okay. Um, my nerves. Um, procrastination. I, th I feel like that's the only two right now. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Because I never ask for super chats. I, I don't even request that. But child, y'all are sending money for these questions. So I also want to be respectful. Y'all just can't be sending me money and just ask anything. Either I want to be, ooh, okay. This one went to the thing. I don't even know. How, how do I do that? Okay. Um, we already asked that question. Now, Deborah, this is from a woman. I guess we alluded to this earlier, but you already said you don't feel as though a lot. I think this is a, a, a reoccurring comment. People just feel like your 100K request is a lot. I think that's what most of the cousins are feeling. I, I personally do not mind going down from the 100K, but being a corporate recruiter, I write offer letters all day long and they're well over a hundred thousand um, dollars in the corporate world um i've seen it it's something that um i've been working since i was 20. you know um young mom hustler so i don't push my way through this this corporate thing i would have never thought I was able to do. I didn't think it was possible until I became a corporate recruiter and was like, oh, they making this kind of money? So for me and where I'm at and what I see, um, it, it's it's not a lot to me. Okay. And you obviously you make more than 100K or 100K around that and i also um so you don't make 100k yourself i am at a base of 85 and okay. with bonus i will push almost 100. okay now this is a fair question because you say you're around it you see it all day um do these men try to date you i know you're around men that make no. 100k i work 100 remote I am 100% remote. I meet people on the computer. Um, these are people that may be hired for a corporate company, or, you know, VPs and stuff like that. Um, so they live in totally different parts of the company, I've, you know, of the country. Um, and I've never really mixed that with um, my personal life, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. I've never done that before. Okay, so just, and we're gonna move forward, but I guess the final question is, has any man that makes 100K or more ever tried to date you? Yes, yes, oh. yes, 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 so yes, yes. What happened yes, to him? Um, I was moving in, it, it had to do with my kids. I was moving in a different direction um, than than what he was. And um, I've always been able to take a step back for years and just focus on raising my kids. So now that everyone is kind of in their rhythm and out the house and stuff like that, um, I have more time and to date and really entertain the type of relationships that I want. Okay. Um, this is, I gotta tell you, Tiffany, this has never happened <laughs> with the guests before where people are literally sending me money to ask questions. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna solicify for that. This is gonna be the last sorry. question, okay, people? I'm All the cousins that are, I right, listen, I understand. Oh, it actually went away, but it was, I think her name was Tiffany too. She sent in $5. I did see this a couple of times. They wanted me to ask you, hopefully I want to be as respectful. I wasn't going to ask this question, but they keep asking me to ask you this question. Is there any type of hearing impairment that you might be dealing with? No. Okay. 
Fair enough. All right, there we have it. Oh, the question God. was asked. Stop asking me to ask that question. All right, Tiffany. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to get married? You told me you do, right? Oh, yeah, no. if it leads to that. If it leads to that. If it leads to yeah. that. Did yeah. Did I ask you the last question of if why would a guy be lucky to be with you? No, but I can yeah, answer so it. That. Y'all threw me off. I don't know. Listen, if girlfriend, I don't even know how this happened. I never say send me money for questions, but they just kept sending me money to ask you questions, child. All right. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm patient. I'm kind. I give as much as I get. Um, I really uh, put the effort in when I'm treated um, good and. I can be an angel if you create a heaven for me. Woo, you can be an angel if you create a heaven. Yes. Let's do it. We got Tiffany. Oh, do you want the guy to be in Mexico? Um, They don't have to be in Mexico. However, I'm here. I have no intentions on kind of moving back to the U.S. I want to put that out there. Mm -hmm. So... As long as they can travel, I'm not somewhere where it's very difficult to get excuse me, to get to me. Um, but yeah, so they can be anywhere. Okay. So we got Tiffany, Mexico, uh, mom to four, um, five, three men, one she was married to, 37. Oh, did I ask you your age range? Yeah, 45. <laughs> 45 to like 60. Okay. 40, did you say 45 to Coffin? Was that you? I That, that would be me. Yeah, she said 45 yeah. to Coffin. Um, and she's a corporate recruiter. All right, honey, how can the guy reach out to you? Oh, my goodness. Um, you can reach out to my Facebook. It's Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, Queen, C-U-E-E-N. Um, my Instagram is Queen, Q-U-E-E-N, Pin, P-I-N-B-O-S-S. -S. I cannot believe I got through this. I was so <laughs> nervous. You made it through, girlfriend. You was a trooper. I appreciate you. No you were the problem. first guest that had so many questions from the cousins and the audience, which is crazy. Right. Wow. But you did it. Wow. You made it. All right, honey. You, you keep me posted how it goes, baby. I will. Girl. I appreciate you. Bye. Bye, bye baby. Um, couple things. I never solicited for that, so that was kind of odd to me. But another note, make sure you guys are subscribing to the YouTube page. I don't say this enough. Subscribe to the YouTube page. And like the post. We have over 6,000 people watching via YouTube and um, Facebook because it's broadcasting on both platforms. But if you're watching on YouTube, bare minimum, and it's free, like the page, subscribe to the page, like the page, like the video, excuse me, subscribe to the page. I would like to get a guy. Okay, Sugar, Sugar, stand up for me. Stand up for me, Sugar. Turn around, let me see your house. Um... Andre, I'll come to you next because I want to get a guy after, but should we come into you? Hello? Hello? I can't hear you, boo. Okay, get your Wi-Fi together, honey. Oop. Let me see. Y'all get your Wi-Fi together. Uh, baby cake, stand up. Let me see. Show me your house. Hello? Hey. You ready? Hey, born ready. I've been on your Facebook, your Instagram, and I'm on your YouTube. Okay, you said you was born ready. I like that kind born. of energy. Okay, do you want me to call you Baby Cakes? Is that the name? I just changed to the Baby Cakes. And it's on okay, hold on real quick. Your volume's going in and out. I said her name was Tiffany. My name is Tiffany too. So I just changed it to Baby Cakes. Okay, well, I'll call you Tiffany, though. Let me call you Tiffany. Come what you want to come. It's only one of me. Woo, yeah. Tiffany, where you calling us from, girl? Atlanta. ATL, how old are you? 33. 30, you're 33? Yeah. Okay. You have children? Three. How old are your three kids? 15, 7, and 4. 7 and 4. All by the same man? Nope. Two different ones. Uh, two men. Have you ever been married? Nope, want to be. Okay. <laughs> Tiffany, what you do for a living? I'm a lead at Amazon. You're a leader at Amazon? That's correct. Lead at Amazon. What's your zodiac sign? Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius. So we got Tiffany, ATL, 33, Sagittarius. Mom to three, by two men, never marry. Lead at Amazon. What kind of man you looking for, honey? Somebody that knows what they want out of life. Um, I just coming out of eight year relationship. So just somebody they know they worth. Like don't be don't be don't be playing games. No mama's boys. Somebody that's just a grown man, period. A grown man, period. Yeah. Um yeah. and you gotta oh. if you do have kids. You got to be able to take care of your kids. And I don't need you to take care of mine, but we can be a bonus. If you don't take care of your kids, that's a negative. That's a... Mm -mm. Okay. The cousins are asking questions tonight. Proactive, Proactive told me to ask you your age one more time. To make sure you're, he said 30. I guess, he, I guess they don't believe you. What? Every, I'm 5'3". Wait a minute. Hold on, buddy. Hold you on. Got, hold on. You got Wait a minute. 33. And is. I every bit of it. Every every bit of it. Don't play with you. And all. Okay. <laughs> all right, Tiffany. What's your deal breakers? Like I said, mama's boys, uh, liars, cheaters. Um, that's it. That's my deal breakers. And a man that don't want to pay no bills. Like you don't want to pay no bills. That's my deal breaker. Okay, do you want to pay all the bills? Like, what's the you gotta pay all 50 50? 50 50. Okay, 50 50. Should he look a certain way? I don't want no man with no one eye, no heart problems, no little dicks, or none of that. Woo, child, that was just a drive by. You yeah. said, you said, you no get one straight eye. to the point. Say it one more time. <laughs> No, no men with no one eyes, no heart problems, and no little dicks. Whoop, child. Okay. <coughs> Here okay. 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 Um, should he make a certain amount of money? As long as you better take care of yourself. They would take care you know of yourself. Know how to budget. You gotta know how to budget. You have to know how to budget. Spend your money wisely, because I'm a big buzzing queen. Okay. You got, you got five dollars, put two fifty in the crop pot. Ooh, 250 in the crock pot. If you got five, put 250 in the crock pot. Okay, 250. So just how to save your, you're not, you're not, you're not pressed to how much he makes, just how he handles it. How he handles his business. Okay. Uh, you kind of already did it, but let's do the Kendra, Kendra Cam officially. Oh, be my guest. How you want full back? Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait. You sit you on the counter. Ooh, can I see that booty when you walk to the back? <laughs> okay, we see you, Tiffany. Um, curvy. Um, okay, I got another question from the cousins in the comment section. Please keep them coming. Keep them coming. Okay. Um, this one is keeping their name private, but they spent five dollars and said. Why are you talking so foul in front of the children? As a man, that's a turn off. Uh, because the children is in the back, and that was my niece. My kids are at home. Okay, that that's the response to that. Okay, listen, y'all better be y'all better tread lightly with the questions y'all want to ask Tiffany. And you gotta know your word. If that's a turn off, it might be a turn on to somebody else. Ooh, it might be turned off to you, but it could be turned on to somebody else. And then they ain't even hear me. And the kids didn't even hear her. She said, okay. Um, let me let me stay focused, y'all. I don't want no problems with you, Tiffany. Uh, <laughs> when was your last relationship? About seven months ago. Seven months ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? One year ago. Okay. Are you waiting for a relationship? Yeah. Okay. Um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Giving people too much time in my life. Okay. Um, being patient and just bending over backwards for people, giving people too much. Okay. Um, do you want to get married? You, you have, you've never been married, correct? You said you want to be married. No, ma'am. Okay, but you desire to be married. Yes, ma'am. What qualities do you feel as though make you a wife? Because I'm, I'm a queen. 
And if you marry me, you're going to be my king. There's nothing going to come between us. We Adam and Eve. Period. Okay. Period. Adam and Eve, period. Should he be in Atlanta? He can be whatever. Would you relocate? I will. If it's that, if it's, if it's that good, I will. Okay. Um, do you want more kids? No. Nope. nope. My no, sister no said no. <laughs> My sister here with me. She got eight kids. So she said no. Your sister has eight kids? Eight. Is she married? No. No. What are you doing all these babies and not marrying these men? Man, I'm I fucked up. Man, be quiet. Girl. What's she say? They're hoping y'all, but I fucked up. Be quiet, girl. She she I, feeling I had herself. A fucked up, I had a fucked yeah. up life. I came over here. She she messed up. But I've been trying work. to get your pick up from your from, from fucking fights, but I've been telling okay. you to pick up from from fight to Instagram. Why y'all do all that cursing? I'm sorry. My bad. My apologies. A man don't want no power. I'm not. I'm not linked to a man. You are. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You gotta, be, you gotta be well put together. You gotta know, know how to turn it on. When I to get on Kendra G, then you we will talk about me. Right now, we talking about you. You great. You go ahead. I'm gonna shake the fuck up. Okay. She she got. Oh, 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 child. Oh, I, I love my friends. Like, you want to be friend? Be quiet. What age range you want to date, Tiffany? I'm 33, so I don't want them too old because my dad is 56. So he got to be from 35 yes, to 45. 35 to 45, okay. And why would a man be lucky to be with you, honey? Because I'm a prize. Oh, I, she All the way around. I might do this and talk like this, but I'm a prize. I very am. Long last relationship. I went my first baby daddy for four years, my second baby daddy for eight. Don't play with her. She's a prize. I am a prize. I, I, I do whatever it needs to be done. Whatever it needs to be done. So we got it. We got Tiffany Atlanta, 33 Sagittarius, mom to three, by two men. She's a lead at Amazon. She'll date 35 to 48. Um, you don't have to be in Atlanta. Don't have a small penis. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girlfriend, how can the guy reach out to you, honey? My Facebook is Marie Knowlton. M-A-R-I-E-N-O-L-T-O-N. And my Instagram so, is... Give the Facebook one more time. Marie, M-A-R-I-E, Knowlton, N-O-L-T-O-N. T-O-N. And what's your Instagram? No love tip. N O L U V T I P. T I P. All right, yes. honey. I don't know if you want me to read any more questions. Right, read them. Huh? Please read them. I don't want to. Why? Be, don't that's to another thing. Uh-uh. Honesty. Don't don't hold it back. No. Honestly, I think some are mean spirited. Some are we could ask. Okay, I, I, this one just said Adam and Eve. Are you truly familiar with the characters? T spent five dollars to ask that. Of course, my mama in church and my daddy is too. Okay, user told me to ask this. User spent four ninety nine. Ask her seriously why she thinks she's the prize. What has she done to show that she that she's the prize in this interview? <laughs> okay, I ain't even gonna answer that one because. Okay. Yeah. We're going to stop there. I'm not going to read anymore. Listen, Tiffany, you keep me posted how it goes, honey. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, baby. I don't know where this is coming from. I literally don't know why y'all are in the mood tonight to send me money to ask questions. Like, that is kind of crazy to me. Um, but here's the deal. Let's just let's just stay focused, y'all. Let's stay focused. All right. Um, let me see if I get a guy next. I would like to get a guy. Okay, Shug, you ready? Andre, I'll try you, but let me see if Suge is ready because I tried it before. Andre, you'll be after Suge because I do need to get it. Wait, Suge, your background's changing. I don't like that. I can't got. I can't do no change of backgrounds. No, it seems like you might be a wet cam. I need you to get up. Your background just changed. I don't know. I gotta. I don't know, Suge. I gotta come back to you, honey. You did a whole change of background. Andre, you ready? Yes. Okay. Andre, where you calling me from? I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. 
Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? I'm 30, 34. 34. What do you do for a living? I'm in IT and I also work on set for um, films. Okay, you're IT, you work on sets. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any children? No. No kids. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. When's your birthday? April 28th. Oh, okay, you're April Taurus. Um, Andre, where city you call me from? Atlanta. You live in Atlanta? Yes. All right, so we got Andre, Atlanta, 34 Taurus. And I, Kendra, I do want to put out there for the comments, yes, I am gay. And hey, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, he's looking for a man tonight. I guess y'all called it because it's. So we got Andre Atlanta, 34 Taurus, works at IT and works on set. No kids. No what kids. kind of man are you looking for, honey? I'm, I'm looking for someone, Kendra, that has um, kind of went, been on an adventure and kind of found themselves that has kind of gotten out a lot of the stuff that they wanted to try. Someone that is looking to settle down, someone that um, understands what love is and has healed from, you know, whatever traumas. Cause you know, as we live through life, we all go through things, you know? So ultimately someone that has found themselves and isn't a good foundation in their life. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, what are your deal breakers? No down low men um, and no narcissists. Um, and let's see, no one that is too flashy. I don't like people that like to label, you know, everything they have on is Gucci Gucci. I like someone that can present themselves, but more so in a way that somebody can ask them what they're wearing versus presenting other people's names on their, you know, to perpetuate a certain image. So, yeah. You don't, you don't want a guy that wears name brand? Well, balance. You know, I don't want, you don't have to have on the Gucci hat, the Gucci shirt, the Gucci belt. You know what I'm saying? Someone that is, you know, can present themselves without being too overly flashy. Yeah. Because I'm not like Okay. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um, I would say someone that takes pride in themselves, someone that works out, um, you know, basically eats healthy. You don't have to be like, you know, Shamar Moore or anything like that, but just someone that, you know, gets a haircut on a regular takes, you know, puts their best face forward. Yeah. Because I think overall the physical eventually the case. So it's more so the heart and, you know, Wait, you know, basically the energy that you put forward. So that's what I'm focused on at this point. What are your deal breakers? My deal breakers, um, as I said, no down low men, um, because Kendra living in Atlanta, um, I encounter that a lot. I mean, a lot. And I don't even have to look for it. It's like they swarm. So no down low men, um, no men that are, um, that are in, involved with anybody. I don't want anybody that's involved with anybody. And then um, someone that, if you're unstable, I don't want to deal with any of that at this point in time in my life. I want someone that's stable that can bring something to the table. Let me ask you this, the down low men, do mm -hmm. they come across like they're not gay at all? Um, most of the time, you never know, Kendra. There are men that appear rugged and you know masculine and all that. Most of the men that contact me or would approach me, they typically don't. I would never even know from my gay or anything that they were gay. Some of them surprised me. It's that real nowadays. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Someone said you telling the whole truth. Okay. Yeah. What about money? Should the guy make a certain amount of money? I would say, you know, I do watch your show a lot and I notice a lot of people are putting out these unrealistic um, expectations as it pertains to money. I would say as long as he makes about $40,000 a year, and he can take care of himself and we can build together. Um, we can put the knowledge that he's accrued and what I've accrued and you know, build something together. That's all that matters because monetary figure means nothing if you don't know what to do with it. So, you know, so that's basically where I'm at this point. Yep. Okay. Let's do the kids or cam. All right, one second. Hold on, Kendra. Okay. Let me see. You seem tall. I, I'm six foot. Hold okay. On. Let me, hold on one second, Kendra. I just want to position the camera a little bit better. Hold on. Okay, can you see me better now? Yeah, we can see you, honey. Okay. Oh, you got a booty. I wasn't expecting that when you turned to the side. 
Um, yeah, I come with a little bit of surprises. And Ooh, I got a little bit of surprises. We got a question I, from Free and Dash that where are you from? Jamaica? I'm from Jamaica, yeah. I'm oh, from, you Jamaica. Are from Jamaica. Okay. Okay. And, uh, no social media. So um basically if anybody wants to reach me, um, it would have to be via email. I don't do social media at all. Um, and you didn't ask me what my flaws were. We haven't, I know you, I, I'm still, I am still have more questions. We, go ahead, go ahead, okay. go ahead. <laughs> um, another Iman spent $7 and said, most of the men um, in this chat who are being homophobic are on the down low. Oops. So Iman said for the men in the chat right now, if you're being homophobic, you are a down low man. Okay, the cousins are spending cash to and, say shit to y'all tonight. I'm going to say this to you. Most of the men... A straight man that is comfortable with his sexuality will not have anything to say because he, what my, my sexuality has nothing to do with him. People that have a lot to say are usually projecting. And when they act that hyper -mas masculine and try to perpetuate all of that, they typically have a lot of insecurity. So I'm unbothered about any of that. So he, yeah. I'm bothered by it. Okay, fair enough. So <laughs> where was the last relationship, Andrew? My last relationship. Andre, excuse me, Andre. No worries. My last relationship was three years ago. Um, basically, it was started out well. We were traveling a lot. He worked for a, a traveling company. So we were going from island to island. It was a wonderful relationship. And I'm very intuitive, Kendra. So one night I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and I just felt like something was not right. I'm sure everybody's had those moments. I went to his iPad and it usually is locked. And I opened it up and I saw a message that revealed that someone that he perpetuated as a friend that he was cheating on me with. So the relationship ended. I took time away from all of that to heal. And now I feel that I'm, you know, ready to reintroduce myself to the dating again. So that's why I'm and here. And that ended when? That ended um, right, right before the pandemic. Yeah. Oh, so almost three, almost three years ago. Yes, yes. So what took you four years to heal from that? Well, I'm going to tell you this, even though Atlanta has a lot of gay men and a lot of options, Kendra, I'm very, how do I say this? I'm not, I don't put myself out there a lot. I'm very selective about the people that I let in my space because every time you engage with someone, every time you have sex with someone, you're not only putting yourself at risk for STDs, but energy, spiritually transmitted, transmitted demons and all kinds of stuff. So I'm trying to protect my aura and just wait for God to align the right person for me. So that's why I've been waiting this long. Yep. Okay, fair enough. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, About two months ago. Okay, two months ago. Is he an option? No. Why not? I found out he has a girlfriend. Yeah. So he was on a down low? Yes, the girlfriend called me. Oh my God, what did she say when she called you? She was basically like, you know, crying and like, oh my God, I, you know, I, I can't believe this. Like, I just had a baby by him. And first she was trying to act, figure out if I was a guy or a girl. And when I kind of answered the phone, she was like, he was in the background and she was like, oh my God, it's a man. I can't believe it's a man. And Kendra, she still texts and calls me every now and again from then. And she's still with him. So it just shows you how serious this issue is. Like, so, okay, how did she realize she was cheating? He was cheating on her. I guess she looked through his messages. Yeah. And and she thought your name like Andre was like maybe Yes, yes, Kendra. So when yeah. she texts you now after staying with him, what did she say? Well, first she was going off and I'm very Kendra, I don't cuss people and all of that stuff. I'm more of an intellectual. So I was just like, "Ma'am, you're calling me. Like you need to speak to the individual that owns the phone. Don't call me. You and I have no beef. I don't owe you anything, speak to the person that owns the phone. I kept kind of kept it neutral because I'm not the type of person to put somebody's business out there. I did have compassion, but I didn't feel that it was my place to do that. But I kind of gave her hints and I think she figured it out, but she's still with him. So But yeah. now you're saying she still texts you. Yeah, every now and again. She, she's what she that she wants confirmation. Oh so she wants you to admit. Yes. And yes. you have never admitted. I've never admitted because to me, he has, he's African Kendra and because of the, the family that he comes from and all of that, I wouldn't want to be the catalyst for him to come out. That's for him. I want to give him the right to face his own future and, you know, deal with it on his own. That's not my job. So, so when you linked with him two months ago, you didn't know he had a girl and a baby? 
he no, it came out afterwards because I'm like, why is it that you only can communicate certain times? You know, like when people they're overly communicative only during certain time frames and et cetera. And it was like a lot of love bombing. And I was like, something is off here. And yeah, and then it eventually I was like, he came out and he's like, you know what, I have a girlfriend and you know, I have two I have two young kids and blah blah blah. So I kind of just told him, you know, I don't want any more of the drama. I'm done. And he's still tried to reach out to me, but I just refused to go back to that. Yeah. So let me ask you this for an educational moment. Mm -hmm. Are there any signs that women can pick up on if she's potentially dating a man who's in a DL? Kendra, nowadays, before like like for example, you look at me, you know, I'll you can tell, you know what I'm saying? I'm very well put together my eyebrows. But nowadays it's I mean, I can go anywhere, Kendra. I can go to the gas station and someone there's tip you can't tell anymore. It's not it's like done. it's not like before where it was like, oh, um, yeah, he has a little, you know, twang or something like that. It's not most of these Let men surprise me. me at the same time. Yeah. Hold on real quick. Um, I'm not asking for myself. For those that put that comment, I'm I'm very much okay. I'm not asking for myself mm -hmm. at all. But I'm asking for the women who are viewing because, shoot, a whole woman had a whole baby and had no idea. Yes. And and Kendra, she, you can almost tell, like, she was in denial. It was almost like she was in, she wanted to accept it, but she was in denial and she couldn't get past it. And I felt, Kendra, I felt so bad. But as I said, I didn't feel in my spirit that it was the right thing for me to do. That's a conversation he needs to have with her. She already got enough. I gave her hints. And I kind of just left the situation alone. But let's, I, I don't want the, my entire dialogue with you to be about the download epidemic in America. <laughs> I don't want to be remembered for that. <laughs> no, I got you. Okay, so that was the last time. What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I would say I, I, need to, I definitely need to work on my patience. Um, sometimes I can be very critical of myself. Um, being Jamaican, you know, like... You know, your parents have really high expectations. They put those expectations on you. And sometimes I can be very critical of myself. And then, you know what? Sometimes just being open-minded. I think one of the biggest things that I need to work on is being more open-minded and just going with the flow. Because I've learned that sometimes just taking it one moment at a time and staying present, things usually work out anyway. So that's those are my three flaws. Okay. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? A man will be lucky to be with me because I not only bring brains, I think I'm physically somewhat attractive um, and I am very adventurous in some capacities. I'm the type of guy I like, I've jumped out of a plane twice. I like to go hiking. I like to do a lot of different things. I like to experience different things. And um, ultimately we can build an empire and build something together. So that's why someone would be lucky to be with me. Okay, listen, they paying for questions tonight. Go ahead, bring T, it on. on. T, <laughs> T spent five dollars and said, "Do you think you not? Do you think you're not walking in deception by not responding? This is why you found out what you found out on the iPad of your ex." So I think some people are saying, "Do you think you should just tell her the truth, or deep down inside, do you think she just know the truth, child?" I, Kendra, can I tell? And and you know what? They have a legitimate question, and I do want to respond to that. That's why I felt it in my heart is because I've been there. Kendra, I'm an empathetic person. I've been there, but it's almost like Kendra. She knows. She just wants me to come out and say to her. And even if I tell her, because apparently she said little things to make it seem like this is not the first time. So this is not the first time she's had an issue where he's been trying to either mess with someone else or another guy. So I believe she she must, based off of the dialogue, she must have known, she knows and she's in denial. I think she wants, I don't know, I don't know what, I think she feels that she's probably anchored with the children and she doesn't feel like she could do better. And I think okay. that's what the problem is, yeah. Fair enough. The money, he spent $4.99. He wants to ask, do you want to share the African country that man is from? Togo. Togo, Togo is where he's from, okay. All right, child. Ooh, child. Well, hopefully she's watching, child. If, if this, she would know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So listen, Andre. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I would say thirty to fifty. Thirty to fifty. Should mm -hmm. he be in Atlanta? 
Um, he doesn't have to be in Atlanta. I have a passport. Okay. Could he be bisexual or have kids? He can be bisexual, but he cannot be involved with a woman. Okay. So yes. he can't deal with a woman. No, because there are people that genuinely like both sexes, Kendra. But if you're already with someone, and if you can't be with one person and just be with them, then don't hit me up. Okay, fair enough. All right, so we got Andre, ATL, 34, Taurus. IT, um, he also works on set. Now, no kids. Men only, you cannot be on the DL. You cannot be on the DL. All right, how can the guy reach out to you? So, via email. My email is dude, D-U-D-E, 46482 at gmail.com. Okay. And don't bother looking me up on social media because I'm a ghost on social media. I'll leave that for all, everybody else. <laughs> so give it the email again. Yes. Dude, and that's D-U-D-E, 46482 at gmail.com. And there you have it. All right. Yeah. Will you keep me posted, Andre? All right, Kendra. And by the way, thank you for what you're doing because I really believe that you, you're bringing love and insight to the Black community because a lot of people have this image in their mind based off of social media and these socioeconomic statuses and these amounts, these ridiculous amounts, but they're not really in touch with reality. So I'm glad that you're out here and you're really shedding the truth and shedding light on setting realistic expectations for people moving forward. So thank you again for all you're doing. I received that. I definitely think my show is insightful. I think yeah. people are learning. Um, you know, obviously the goal is to find you somebody, but I think in the process, People are learning, you know, sometimes they learn from other people and it is the eye opening moment. So I appreciate that, Andre. By the way, Kendra, let them know, although I do have a big, big butt, I don't have OnlyFans. I'm not an attention seeker. So I saw that in the comments. So tell them not everybody that has a shape has the desire to have everybody looking at them. I don't seek validation outside. It all starts from within. But have a good night. All right. Thank you, Kendra. Bye, baby. Bye, all baby. Right. Andre was ready to read your down, child. Um, okay, I gotta make sure. I see Mariah, you you moving. See you not Mariah. Show me the I gotta see. Okay, I think we might be good. Hello? Oh, hey Kendra. Hi, is your name Mariah? Yes. Mariah, where you call me from, baby? From Charlotte. Charlotte, and how old are you? I am 26. 26? What you do for <laughs> a living, Bo? I am a nurse more full time, and then I just do like some property management on the side. Okay. Mariah, Charlotte, um, 26, nurse and property management? Yes. Okay. You have any children? No kids. No kids. Zodiac sign? I am a Virgo, 9 11. 9 11. Oh, okay. So, what was 9 11? How many years ago? I was about to say, I'm 26, so I think it's like on my fifth birthday, 2001, I believe. Okay. Okay. Mariah, Charlotte, 26, Virgo, nurse, property manager, no kids. Yes. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? <sighs> I'm so nervous. Okay. I am looking for a God-fearing man, someone who is family-oriented, definitely looking for marriage, um, someone who's like financially stable, mentally stable, <laughs> um, a provider, a generous provider. That's definitely something that I'm looking for. And yeah. What does what is gener generous pro provider mean to you? Um, I think I've dealt with people before who can be providers, but I don't want you to provide and then complain about it or provide and like have an issue with the fact that you're doing that. Someone who just genuinely wants to and that makes them happy just taking care of everything. Okay. Everything as in you want them to pay all the bills? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Okay. So you don't know 50 50 for you? No. <laughs> No 50-50, Kendra. Oh, she laughed at it. Do you want to work once you get married? Um, I feel like I'm open to it. Like, I don't mind working full-time for a few more years, but definitely once I settle down and have kids, I don't want to be expected to work full-time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are your deal breakers? So deal breakers would be someone, cigarette smokers, any substance abuse issues. Um, what other deal breakers? Hold on. I made a little list. Definitely have to believe in God. Um, I don't know. It's not like too many things. I had an issue last with like people who are salesmen, or I guess just like, hmm, how do I explain this? I'm okay with salesmen, but just don't oversell in all aspects of life. You know, like just like having that separation. Okay. 
Um, should he look a certain way? No, I'm not picky on looks. I'm open. Okay. Now, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? I think like 100K and up. And up. Should, um, you're 26. Do you want, you want kids, I'm assuming? Yes, I definitely want kids. You want kids? Could he yeah. have kids already? I'm open to that. I'm okay if they have kids, just as long as it's a stable situation. Definitely someone, they have to take care of their kids. So I do not talk to any men that have kids and don't provide for their kids. Fair enough. Let's do the kids with care. Oh, goodness. All right. Okay. Look, you have a nice shape. Woo. Yes. You got body. <laughs> okay. So we got Mariah. Should he be in Charlotte? Yes, Charlotte. Um, no, they don't have to be in Charlotte. I would prefer closer around like North Carolina, South Carolina. And the two, like just being flexible. I can talk to some people who, um, like some successful men, if they're just very like set on what they want for their future. I would like to ideally settle down around like North Carolina, South Carolina area. Okay. So you have an age range? I would say maybe 28. And I would go up to like 45. 28 to 45. When was your last relationship? Last relationship was a few months ago. Okay, you don't have to answer. So I'm going to ask, last time you was intimate with someone? Not going to answer that. Okay, three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws, um, I would say overthinker, um, just pouring too much into people. I'm a very big giver. And so sometimes just like giving too much to people that don't necessarily deserve that. And then lastly, I would say patience. <laughs> yes. All right. And um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? So a guy, would be, a guy would be lucky to be with me because I feel like I would just be a very good helpmate. I'm very much just get in where I fit in. I'm willing to like be a helpmate to him if he has business or even if he's working, just like making sure everything at home is handled before he gets there. And when it comes to like me not working, like I don't want you to think like I don't want to bring anything to the table. I feel as though this past 26 years I've been independent and grinding and like putting money and investing. So I definitely will bring something to the table. I just don't want it to be needed for us to live life. So oh, you're saying back to the money. You will bring some to the table, but you don't want your income to be necessary to survive. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely will contribute. I just don't want us to depend on it. Okay, okay. And you, you said you do want to be a wife, correct? Yes, for sure. What qualities do you feel as though make you a wife? I would say I'm very like kind, respectful. Um, I'm very much like willing to help. Me being a nurse, like I'm very nurturing, caring. I can take care of a man. <laughs> okay. Listen, tonight is the paid questions request night. Oh goodness, I'm too. scared. Can <laughs> This has never happened. I'm not even asking for it. They are Go just ahead. What's the question? Money. So user, this they're not sharing their name, but it's user mm -hmm. 499. This actually isn't a bad question. He okay. just said, I'm assuming it's a man. Can you ask her how she came up with 100K as a suitable salary for her potential man? So how did you come up with the minimum of 100K? Honestly, I just think with times today and just like realistically how everything costs and if we're not wanting to depend on two incomes. I feel as though like that's just a good starting point. And me with nursing, I make over a hundred thousand and I feel as though like, I feel like I'm flexible, but I'm just accustomed to what I'm accustomed to. And I just wouldn't want to have to like change my lifestyle. I don't feel as though I have to. So let me ask this because you make over a hundred K, which is a good salary. So you want to keep that all to yourself. You don't want to add any of that salary. No, no, no. I definitely want to add it and for it to be ours. Like definitely like when we come together, everything is both of ours. But you said you didn't want to pay bills. So I guess I'm confused now. So essentially, I feel as though like me working, like I said, like if my husband is okay with me not working. Okay, I so you work. would quit your nursing job. Yeah, like I feel like I want them to just look at like zero. Like don't think that. Yeah, I don't want to work forever, but I can't. I have the potential to work. And so I feel as though I definitely want to be at home and having kids and taking care of the house. But I might get tired of being at home after a few years and nursing super flexible. So I could work like two days a week, three days a week and still bring in money. If okay, that makes fair. sense. Got you. Yes, we got you now. So yeah. Mariah Charlotte, 26, Virgo, has no kids. 
you want kids when you get married, correct? Yes. Um, she's a prop also does property management. Was a 28 to 45. Okay, for me, has kids already. Mm -hmm. Make at least 100 k She she's not really trying to work when she gets married. So yeah, keep that in mind. How can the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, I just put my Instagram down in the thing right there. So was that right there? So mm -hmm. right at Nurse Bay Rye. Yes. Nurse Bay Rye. Mm -hmm. All right, boo. You keep me posted how it goes, love. Yes. Thank you so much, Kendra. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, baby. I don't know what's up with y'all on these questions tonight, y'all. Um, let's see. V. Terry, stand up for me. V. Terry, stand up. Shiggy, I would try you, but you you changed your background. And I got to be real clear on the people I pick. So stand up again, Shiggy. I need to make sure that, let's see. Don't make me regret this. Hello? I can't hear you. I promise I didn't. I don't know what that was the last time okay. when it changed my background. Okay, what's your name? Your name is Shuggy? It's Shugumvia, but what I prefer- What do you want me to call you, honey? Shug. Shug, okay. Shug, where you calling us from, Shug? Atlanta. ATL, how old are you? Oh, I'm not 20, I'm 35. Let me keep You want to say 20? I wanted to say 25, you know. <laughs> You was like a 10 years younger girl. Yeah. But now nah, I'm 35. <laughs> All right. So we got Suge, Atlanta, 35. Do you have any children? No, ma'am. It is Atlanta night tonight. It is. And that's what I was saying. I was like, ooh, everybody from Atlanta. Everybody from Atlanta tonight. No kids. What you do for a living, boo? I'm in the utility companies. Utility companies. Mm -hmm. And what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. So we got Suge, Atlanta, 35, Scorpio, no kids. Works with utility companies. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? Um, somebody that is uh driven, uh focused, whatever your goals may be in life. Um, let it be focused, no kids, um honest, not a liar. And that's really it. Like I just want someone that knows themselves, know what they want in life, gonna go get it. You know, we have obstacles in life, but we can overcome them. And that's really it. And you're going to be honest, honest with yourself. And then therefore you can be honest with me. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Kids. So don't have kids. Um, don't be a liar in relationships. I want you to have good relationships with um, your people that's around you, your family, your friends, your mother, whoever it may be. You need to have good relationships with them because I'm going to see that and then no, that's the way you'll treat me. Okay, fair enough. So do you want children yourself? I do. Okay, so no kids. But how about the guy has no, the guy can't have no kids. Oh, no. She has no kids, so that's a fair request. Should the guy look a certain way? Um, I want him to be healthy and whatever your version of healthy is. Like if we going on a hike and we have an elevation to climb of 200, 300 feet, we need to be climbing. Like, you can't stop and say, no, I'm stopping. So that's what I say, that drive, even if it's, you know, it's hurting you, as long as you ain't got to the point of a heart attack, I need you to keep going, you know? Like, I want you to drive. I want you to be healthy. I like to get active. I like to be outside. I'm in a utility company, so majority of the time I'm in and out, I'm outside. So I need you to be healthy. Um, I need you to have uh, just good personal hygiene. You upkeep, your, you upkeep your hair yourself, even if it's a haircut, dress, I don't know, whatever you have. Like you need to keep yourself well groomed. Okay. Those fingernails, all of that stuff. Keep yourself well groomed. What about money? Do you gotta make a certain amount of money? Um, you need to be able to, yes, make a certain amount of money to withstand your lifestyle. So you need to be able to um travel, bills are paid, nothing is laid, um, good credit. It's not a dollar amount on it because we all make different ranges in life. Like you may be used to making 130K, but your 130K is check to check to check to check. Um, and then somebody could be having 50K and they can go on every, every trip because their bills are paid, their credit is good. They got a 2% rate on their car. I don't know, interest rate on their car, you know? So it just depends on your money management, your mind when it comes to that. Okay. 
Let's do the kids or cam. Okay. okay, we see you, bro. All right. Well, you got big breasts like me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, girl. I said after my kids, um, no, they're gonna get reduced. Oh, you gotta do it after you. Well, so you don't have any kids. Um, what's the age range you would date, Shug? Um, so anywhere from a mature 27, 26 year old up to probably about 45. 27 to 45. Okay. Now, should he be in Atlanta? He can be in the state of Georgia. I would prefer it. Um, long distance, I've done it before. And it kind of, it seems rushed when it's long distance. Like, because you want to be near each other mm -hmm. a lot of the time. And so someone may accommodate and come or do something. And then, yeah, it don't work out. Okay. When was your last relationship? Nine to 10 months ago. Okay. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Probably about four months ago before November. All right. What are three flaws you have to work on? Mm. So my three flaws would be, um, one, I can be very um, assertive sometimes. You know, when you just might say like, oh, I need to do this on my own or I need my space. I'm going to insert myself because I see something isn't right. And I'm going to interject and try to make it right. And it may not be what you need. So maybe also I'm not sometimes listening. I just, I got that fixer upper type of attitude. I want everything to be smooth. So I can be um, over insert, over insertive sometimes in so that would be one. And then also I can get a uh, tunnel vision when I see something and I want something, I'm going to go get it. Even if you're like, mm, they don't work or that's not it. Or no, let's do it this way. No, my way. I seen it my way and stuff like that. So let's go get it. And I'm trying to be more open with that. Like just really let in different opinions and stuff like that. I'm trying so hard. Um, and then my third would be a perfectionist. I always want things to be perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'd like that you had a well thought out answer. Shug, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because I feel like um, I'm one of those people that I learn from past experiences. Um, I've been through a lot, seen a lot. And not one thing that I've been through, I haven't learned or took something from it. So therefore... No matter what we battle in life, I'm going to see the light at the end of the tunnel and we're going to be able to get through it. I'm going to point out the good in whatever situation we're going through. Um, also, I am a, I'm a sort of kind of, you can say traditional woman, even though I'm very driven, like I'm at work, I'm driving, I'm, but home is taken care of. Uh, family is taken care of. My parents, I help them out. That's why I'm back here in Georgia. Um, but because I'm love, I am love and I know okay. give love. Do you want to get married? Yes, ma'am. What qualities do you feel is going to make you a wife? I feel like that I know how to love. I know how to receive love. I feel like, um, I'm a communicator. I know sometimes things get like, um, hard in life, but I know how to communicate or I know how to get someone that can help us communicate. Um, and also, I'm um, family oriented. So I feel like a wife needs to be that of the family because you're going to most likely be the glue, especially when you're creating generations after generations after generations. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Um, girl, you know, it's the night of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, little five, no, little sent me five hours to ask you this question. He wants to know why do you have so many tattoos? Professional men like himself don't like to see women with a lot of tattoos. I know. So this is my thing. When I'm at work, I'm fully covered from like elbow all the way up and down and they do not. But I feel like our body um, is like an art piece. So therefore, if you work out whatever you do with your body, you're molding it and sculpting it to what you want. So therefore, I do have art pieces on my body. And there you have it, Little. That was her response. All right, well, let's get to it. How can the guy reach out to you, honey? Oh, let me look, because I got my, um, what's the name? Because I know somebody else was like, oh, I don't know my Instagram name. Need to do I. Um, 
but my page is private but if y'all message me i will get on there i just i kind of keep it enclosed for that reason but my um instagram name is underscore t e l e v i s e d underscore so that's going to be underscore televised underscore all right well you keep me posted how it goes baby girl thank you Goodbye, um, I do want to say this, everybody watching, make sure you follow the YouTube page and like the video, like the video. It's very simple. If you're watching, we have over 6,700 people via YouTube and Facebook. So just like the video. Um, v. Terry, stand up, V. Terry. Let me see you. V. Terry. Okay. Hello, you ready? Turn the, we can't hear you. Yeah, turn the volume on. Turn on your volume, V. You, oh, are you frozen? I got you it. Turn your, I got it. I got it. There we go. Um, hey, where are you calling me from? What do you want me to call you? Oh, um, my name is Veronica, but my Facebook has V Terry. What do you want me to call you, Veronica or V Terry? You call me Veronica. Veronica. All right, Veronica, where are you calling us from? Albany, Georgia. Albany, Georgia. How old are you? Um, 40. 40, okay. The light might be fine. Let me see. Do you guys see her good? Sometimes it's my light. Uh, let me just see how I see you. 40, you have any kids? Two. Two, how old are your kids? Um, 19 and 18. 19 and 18, both by the same man? Yes. Yes, have you ever been married? Yes, that was my marriage, my kids. Oh, when did you get divorced? Uh, a long time ago. <laughs> oh, a long time ago. Okay. When it was around one and two. Oh, you got me. You got divorced. Why so early? <sighs> um, he was different. He changed when we got married. How did he change? He just became a different person. Like he was a cheater. He was not affectionate. Um, all the things he did before to get me, he changed all around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got Veronica, Albany, Georgia, 40. She was married to her children's dad. Yes. What do you do for a living, boo? I'm a customer service representative, but I drive like trucks the size of a UPS truck. So I like deliver to places. Would you call yourself a truck driver? I would say kind of. Okay, kind of a truck driver. And what's your zodiac sign? Um, Libra. Libra. All right. Was that your only marriage? Yes, that's my only okay. marriage. So we got Veronica, Albany, Georgia, 40, Libra, mom to two uh, by her ex-husband. And she's a truck driver. What kind of man are you looking for now, baby? Um, an honest one. And um, one with a, a decent job. And that doesn't mind that I have kids. And I don't want one that want to have kids. Because I'm out of that. I don't want to have any kids now. She doesn't want to have any kids. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Um, not being honest, um, not liking what I am. Um, I I have a wig on now, so I like to be natural most times. I was just out and about today, so I was out with my other truck driver friends. So I dressed up a little bit, so I was up, and I'm kind of tired, but I hope I don't look tired. But because I've been up since four o'clock this morning, okay. so um, but I just want somebody that is. Just willing to be a partner in life. Okay. And accept you without your wig because you don't normally wear wigs. No. no. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, does he <laughs> have to look a certain way? Yeah. On my Facebook, it has my natural hair. So if you can accept me with my natural hair, I'm fine with it. Okay. So, yeah. So, so if you want to see her without her wig, it's on her Facebook. And that's how you are majority of the time. Exactly. Definitely. Okay. Okay, so you gotta be able to accept it like that. So the guy look a certain way. Um, I don't have no preference. I mean, I just as long as you're not overly weight, you're healthy. Um, as long as you you can be any complexion, I don't care. Um, I don't care about a race either. Okay, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, as long as you know how to manage your money, um, and you have a a good financial understanding okay 
Good financial understanding. All right, now it's time for the Kendra Cam. Yeah, my phone was going dead, so I'm hopefully the Kendra Cam can work. Are <laughs> oh, your phone going dead? I'll try to go fast. It was. I had to put it up to the charger. That's why the lightning is off. So is I had it, to... Is it on the charger now? Oh, it's not? Oh, it, I had to change. I had to get off the charger for a moment. Okay. Oh, let me see this outfit, girl. Okay. No, these are my night shoes, so I wish I had my heels on. I'm looking at the jeans. Right. You said wet my knees. I was looking at the jeans. Yeah, the jeans. Oh gosh, they are uh smock posh. Okay. Okay. Are you is your phone good or is it, are we gonna is it, Yeah, we good. I was that's okay. why I'm taking you back over here because that's where my charger is at. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, Veronica, when was your last relationship? Um, this was a while ago. Um, I would say about 10 years. Um your you can't last count relationship the way was 10 years ago. You can't count situationships, so you can't. So why do you feel like you haven't been in a relationship in 10 years? Um, they don't want a lot of people, you gotta take them for what they want. So um a lot of guys don't want relationships that I have came across, the ones I have came across. It's not everybody, but it's just certain people. Okay. Is that your desire? Yeah, I would like to be married again. I would not I don't want to be um single. Okay. Um, when was I'm your you don't have to everything? Answer. You don't have to answer. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh, it's been a while. Okay. And I would say about almost a year. Almost a year. Okay. So are you waiting for a relationship this time? No, it's not that. It's just that I just haven't came across. I've been working so much. So it's not like when you work so much, you're not really thinking about it. So it's not like it was planned. Okay. When was your, um, what are three flaws you have to work on? I procrastinate. Um, uh, gosh. Okay. We're going to think of some more. I got some. Um, I think, gosh, I cannot believe this. But um, procrastinate. I need to think things as take as face value because I like kind of try to put things in my mind how I want it to be, and when you do that, you re really don't take things as face value. So I need to start doing that. And uh, I got some more. Don't worry about it. I just know what I just can't think of it. I've been drinking. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, let me see. And I over, I think I can do everything, I guess. Cause I'd be like, I don't want to put myself down sometimes. So I'd be like overly, sometimes I'm like, yo, I can't do it, but I'd be trying. So, <laughs> so I'd be like, I need to really just kind of like take back some stuff, like stop putting stuff on my table. Like I can, I need to just like really focus on what I need to do instead of like putting a lot of stuff on my table. Okay. All right. So um, you said you want to get married again. What qualities make you a wife? Um, from being married before, I know what mistakes I made. Um, you know, I know what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And I just want somebody that I could be submissive with and be that partner that they want and need. Cause I just, I'm, you know, it's hard being single out there. I want a man. So I'm not going to lie and say, I don't want one. I'm a, I wouldn't be on here if I didn't want a man. <laughs> you want the man. What's the age range you would date, Veronica? Um, 35 to 55. Okay. You say you don't mind if he has kids, right? No. Mm -mm. And should he be in Albany, Georgia? He can be anywhere. I'm not trying to be here forever. So I'm trying to leave here. Okay. Yeah. And let's do it. Veronica, I mean, we kind of answered it when I said qualities make you a wife. But why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm going to help you. I'm going to be that helpmate that what I should be. I'm going to give you good advice, even though you might not think that, okay, I should be giving you this advice. But sometimes you, I don't want you to go all the way around the world to be like, hey, baby, you just did do this. Let's just do this. You know, I just want you to do this, baby. Let's get this done and whatever, you know. And sometimes men do want to go around the world, but I just don't want you to go that around the world. I just want you to do this right now and kind of help to help you out a little bit. So, yeah, um, I just want to be a helpmate, a good helpmate for a man. And there you have it. All right, v, Veronica, how can the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, My Facebook name is the same. It's V Terry. V Terry, so you huh? 
Mm -hmm. on Facebook. Exactly. Okay. All right. Keep me posted how it goes, baby girl. Oh, I will. Thank you. Bye. And you're so gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, baby right. girl. Thank you. All right. Bye. Um, all right, we is going long. We is going long. I'm talking like color purple. Elu, Elu, stand up, honey. Let me see. let me see. Hello? Hey. Hey, is, how do you pronounce your name, honey? Elu. Elu. Where are you calling me from? I'm in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Okay. How old are you, love? 36. 36. What you do for a living? I work in purchasing. Purchasing. You have any children? No children. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? Taurus. Oh, when's your birthday? May 4th. Oh, May 4th. I'm May 7th. That's hey. why I always ask people when their birthdays <laughs> if they're Taurus. So we got Elu, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, 36, Taurus. Works in purchasing. No kids. What kind yep. of man are you looking for, boo? Um, I'm looking for a masculine man. Um, someone who has nice teeth, um, someone who has good hygiene, um, someone who's in shape, ambitious, has good credit, <laughs> who believes in monogamy, um, and um, preferably someone who doesn't have kids, um, someone who um, has good integrity, and someone who is intelligent. Okay. Okay. What are your deal breakers? My deal breakers, um, I would say that some, basically someone who has bad hygiene, someone who doesn't want kids, um, someone who isn't financially stable, um, and then someone um, who just had, like, men who just have, like, bad attitudes because maybe they are scorned from, like, the, the last relationship. So um, financially stable, what does that mean to you? Someone who um, has good money management skills, and Is someone who gets, and, um, I would say someone who makes maybe like eighty k and above. Eighty k and above. Should he look a certain way? Um, as long as he's in shape, and um, as, as long as he can, um, someone who's just like well polished, well groomed, um. That would be all that I require. Okay. Um, let's do the kids or cam. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't fall. <laughs> okay. Make it work. <laughs> Try it out. Because I was trying to get the lighting. <laughs> I feel like my phone do not want me to be having catch you cam. Can y'all see me? Now we can see you. Okay. You see them hips, girl. Yes. <laughs> All right. So it's Elu, right? Yes. Elu. Um, should the guy be in Charlotte? He can be anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> Anywhere in the United States of America, so he can't be out the country. No. No. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship? Um, over a year ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was into it with someone? I'm not going to answer. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, three flaws would be that I could be a better listener. Um, I need to be better at walking away at first signs of like red flags because sometimes i'm like empathetic so i try to be like oh, okay well we'll see um and then i can another flaw would probably be that i'm i'm hard on myself like i'm very critical of myself okay so why would a guy be lucky to be with you honey a guy would be lucky to be with me um because i'm kind i'm patient um, I have a great attitude. I'm understanding. Um, I'm very feminine. I'm in my divine feminine energy. And um, I'm intellectual. And I just have substance. I have a lot going for myself. So, Okay. What is the age range you would date? Um, I would say a mature 33. 
um, to about 46. Mature 33 to 46. And you said no kids, right? I have no kids. He can have kids. Um, no more than two and only one baby mama. All right. And do you want to get married? I'm open to marriage or just like a lifetime partner. Okay. Just like a nighttime partner. Girl, I'm not going to require it, but some of the men, somebody just sent me $10 and said, can you do Sam Major? Said, Kendra, can we get another Kendra Cam with a 360 turn? You don't have to do that. <laughs> they want to see your booty. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to. It's not, ooh, well, I guess you didn't mind, child. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, I'm maybe that'll be your DMs master. How can the guys reach out to you, honey? Right here. That's my Instagram. It's private, but if you message me, I'll make sure I look at the messages. Okay. Elu underscore, how do you spell that? It's Elu underscore Kaylian. So C-A-L-I-A-N at Instagram. Okay. Ooh, child. Um, now they're telling me $5. They said you're pretty and awesome. Thanks, guys. Ooh, you got the men excited, girl. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Keep me posted. Oh, what was your age range? You're 36. I'm 36. Um, I would like a mature 33. Um, and I'll go as high as like 46. 33 to 46. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, but will you keep me posted, honey? Thanks, love. Bye, baby. Bye. Listen, I can really just try to get as many guests as possible. So I don't even be promoting that part of the show. Um, that goes to show you how much I really be trying to find y'all somebody. But tonight is the night, child, where y'all have been sending me money for questions, which is kind of crazy to me. Um, mama, mama, with glasses, stand up, honey. I got to see the room. Do you want to do it? You, you have to shine out. You got to stand up. You have to stand up so I can see the room. Let me see. Hello, are you ready? Yeah. How old are Is you, honey? Okay? How old are you? Is this okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. I look older, but I am 25, turning 26. You're 25? Yeah. Oh, we might have bad audio. Hello? Hi. Hi, where are you calling me from, baby? South Africa. South Africa. Okay. How old are you? I am 25, turning 26. I know. You did I tell me that. You're 25, turning 26. How do you pronounce your name, baby? It's Mamani. Mamani? Yeah. Mamani. Mamani. Um, do you have yeah. any children? No, I don't. No kids. Um, what do you do for a living? I am a psychologist, a photographer, and a photographer, yeah. Psychologist and a photographer. Yeah. Okay. So we got Mamani, Mamani, South, South, South Africa, yeah. 25, no kids, psychologist and a photographer. What kind of yeah. man are you looking for, babe? Um, so I'm kind of bi. <laughs> um... I'm just looking for somebody who is genuine and I don't care about the money and everything, but to be able to like care for yourself more than anything. Um, I actually don't even care about the looks. I just want you to be like, I want, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, the emotional side of you. Yeah, that's all I want. I don't care if you're short, tall, fat, not fat, but I just want to relate to you on an emotional side. Okay. Uh, what are your deal breakers? Mm, somebody who cannot communicate. I love joking a lot, so. Somebody who does not have humor at all. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Lore of Lion 
said five dollars and wanted to know you probably can't he wants to know if you can take off their glasses oh <gasps> i cannot see that well she can't okay. see what her glasses lore of lying leah lore of Leah. Not. okay keep them on if you can't see okay okay um does the guy you say he doesn't have to look a certain way you kind of got there early pardon you say he doesn't have to look a certain way no or okay. she does not have i i i said i'm bisexual oh i missed that you're open for women too yeah oh women too what about money does he or she have to make a certain amount of money yeah as long as they take care of themselves i don't care about the money but like take care of yourself okay um yeah. do you want the man or woman to be in south africa you know, I think distant can can work, but I feel like in South Africa it's going to work even more because do you prefer a person there. in South do you prefer a person in South Africa? Yeah. Okay. Um let's do the Kendra Cam. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I was sleeping. Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. It's a vase. Oh no, I won't be able to do that. <laughs> I do think I can see that. Um. Okay. Okay, we see you. Ooh, y'all got y'all yeah. got the shapes tonight. Y'all got the hips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gained some some weight, but um Okay. So I um, hope I can say it right. My money? Yeah. My money, she calling us from South Africa. 25. What's the age range you would date? Um, 28 to maybe like 39. Or 28 40, to 39. Because the guy have kids already. Mm, I actually don't care about that. But I do care about the relationship they have with the um, the mother's child because I'm not trying to to fight with anybody. Okay. But like also not not a lot of children. I feel like two maximum. Okay, two maximum. Yeah. All right. And then um, when was your last relationship? Hmm. December, okay, November. November, okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? One year and nine months. One year and nine months. Yeah, because- Where did I balloons come from? Did someone just sent you balloons? Yeah, they were just like, I don't know. <laughs> what is going on? Y'all can send balloons? You didn't do that yourself? No, I just saw balloons, like a red one, green what one. Hell, just red balloons. Oh God. Okay, let's keep going. Um, mm -hmm. what are three flaws you have to work on? Three flaws that I have to work on. Yes. Um, probably communication. <sighs> I don't know the others, honestly. Just communication and oh, making time. Because I'm often like so busy making time, communication, and yeah, no, like I'm just thinking of those. Okay. Um, the balloons they're telling me is a feature on iPhone 15. <laughs> okay. Um, now, do you want to get married, my money? Do I want to get married? Yes. Um, yes. Okay, what qualities you. make you a wife? Mm, I'm very much caring. And if I have you in my life, I kind of put you first in like everything. Um, I like to have somebody that wants to have like dreams. And if not, I will put that thought and actually have you thinking of dreams and actually doing something. Okay. Yeah, I just, yeah. And what's the age range you would date? 
I said 27 to 20, like 39, but 40. So 27 to 40. Okay. All right, but will you keep me posted? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do it. Say your name for me again. It's Mamani. Mamani. How can the guy reach out to you, honey? Um, I have an Instagram page, which is Mamani Lohati, like, as my name is. Um, so it's Mamani Lohati, and the spelling of Mamani is double M A. M A N E. I know it's kind of <laughs> difficult, but we got it. All right, but will you keep me posted how it goes, babe? Yeah, thank you so much. Like I stayed the whole entire night. Oh, I even slept right here, and then I woke up and actually went into my room. <laughs> what time is it in South Africa? It's right now five minutes past seven in the morning. Oh, God. Okay. Well, hopefully we got you a man, girl. Or a girl. Or a woman. Oh, that's right. Or do you prefer a woman? Mostly, yeah. Okay. So women are the preference. Okay. All right, honey. Yeah. You will keep me posted how it goes, okay? Okay. Thank you so right. much, actually, for answering my question. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Bye, baby. Do I have any guys? Frankie, stand up. Let me see your room, Frankie. Show me the room. You ready, Frankie? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, where are you calling me from? Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Nashville. How old are you? Say again. Nashville. Nashville. How old are you? 31. 31. What you do for a living, Frank? Is your name Frankie? No, nah, so my name is actually Chris. My middle name is Frank. What do you want me to call you? You can call me Chris or Frankie either. It doesn't matter. Okay, so call you Frankie? Yeah, that's fine. All right, Frankie Nashville, 31. Do you have any children? I have one. I have a daughter. How old is your daughter? She just turned five in December. Why are you not with the mother? It just didn't work out. We, we're better off at friends. Okay. What do you do for a living, Frankie? I'm a bartender and I also operate machinery for my cycling plant. Okay. So we got Frankie Nashville. One child, that's five. 31. What's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. And he's a bartender and you operate machines? Yeah, machine operator. Machine. So I operate forklift, baler, and all that stuff for recycling plant. All right, let's do it. What kind of woman are you looking for, Frankie? I'm just looking for a beautiful, loyal, and fun woman okay uh beautiful loyal and fun woman what are your deal breakers uh more than two kids uh incompetent and that's really it what does incompetent mean to you can you break it down you'd be surprised a lot of people don't have common sense like i'm i'm one of the people like i hate stupid questions and stuff like that and so that's what I mean by incompetent. Okay. Um, should she look a certain way? I do want a athletic build, beautiful woman. She could be more on the curvier side, but I do want a more athletic built woman. Okay. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? No, not really. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. So are you a provider? That's why you don't care about her money? Um, uh, give me one. Okay. Okay. All right, we see you, Frankie. So, you like you in good shape. So, you don't, are you a provider? Um, yeah, and yeah, and no. What I mean by that, like, I'm a provider, but I'm not at six figures yet. I'm making my way there. I have one of the sixes working on my way to the second six. And the third six, I'm just SOL out of. Oh, As a height? Yeah, a five nine. Okay, got you. Okay, um, but you don't care about our money because you could build together. Yes, that's what I'm looking for too. Also, got you. When was your last relationship? Uh, four years. The mother of my daughter. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was into it with someone? Uh, two months. Two months. Okay. What are three flaws you have to work on? Uh, picky. 
Uh, I'm also uh, picky. I can be nonchalant sometimes. I'm not a big person who like to argue and all that stuff. So if you start arguing, I'll I'll just like block you out. Like I don't want to do all that arguing and stuff. Like I'm a person. Like I don't. I'm not a stressful person. So I don't like to deal with stressful stressful stuff, unnecessary stuff. You feel me? And then um, the other one would be. Uh, I just I was I was ready for it for when you asked me and I even forgot the third one. Okay, I don't have time, but they're telling me to go to your page. What's on your page? Uh, you said what's on my page? Yeah, some people are telling me to go to your Instagram page. What am I gonna see if I go to your IG page? Oh, nothing that I model. I just got I also model. So I just, also, so L S S. What is it? L S S E N S E I S E I. Okay, let me see what they want me to see. Uh, I don't see anything crazy. This is the page that I see. I don't see nothing really crazy up here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So, what is, did I ask you your three flaws you have to work on? Uh, yes. Okay. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Because I'm a caring. I'm a fun. I'm a thoughtful man. Like I said, I have one of the sixes. I'm working on the second one. And like I said, the third one, I'm at so it long. <laughs> so you got one of the sixes. That means he packing and more. Um, he's working on his six figures. And he can't do nothing about height. Correct. There we have it. And do you want to be a husband one day, Frankie? Yes, I do. What qualities make you a husband? Like I said, I'm caring. I'm thoughtful. Like I'm one of them guys that like, I'm also one of them guys that's like the little things that matter. So like, Randomly, I might bring you flowers. Randomly, I'm one of them guys. If I'm out, and let's say you're a big Starbucks person, and I know your favorite drink at Starbucks, I'll randomly just bring it to you out of the blue, out of nowhere, or just maybe surprise you with lunch. Just one of them small, like, you know, I care about the little things too, the small stuff. Okay, he cares about the little things. All right, let's do it. How can the woman reach out to you, babe? And say they can contact me on Instagram. We And say it for the people. Uh, it's L S S E N S E I. So it stands okay. for light skin sensei. I like Japanese culture and like Greek mythology and stuff like that. Okay. What's the age range you would date? Um, 27 to 32. Uh, if I do older, I ain't gonna lie. I'm more so looking for that. Me, I'm more so looking for a sugar mom at that point. If she's going to be older. <laughs> okay. What's the sugar mama age for you? Uh, 38 and up. Now, have you had sugar mamas reach out to you? I did when I was, uh, when I was 25, I had one. And she was paying all your bills? She would like, give me gas, feed me, uh, give me money. She wasn't just paying all my bills. I had a job, so I didn't just need it. It was just extra money and stuff she did. And so you making it, you making it plain and simple. If you are a woman, 38 and older, you better have money because he's going to expect you to be a sugar mama. Yeah. <laughs> so you wouldn't, I mean, if, if she can't afford you, you wouldn't date her? No, no, no. If she, if she has the look and everything, and then I also want another kid in the future, so. But I'm I'll saying, so 38 and older, though. You said 38 and older, you wanted to be a sugar mama. Yeah, but... If she has the look and everything, like I'll take her serious, of course. Like if she has like the look and everything that everything else I'm looking for, then yeah. Okay. I'll also take her serious. Yeah. All right. Well, keep me posted how it goes, Frankie. I got you. All right. Bye, baby. All right. You have a good night, Kendra. You too. This was an extra show on YouTube on this Friday night. We got to go, though. It's been two hours. I don't know if I'll do YouTube tomorrow night. It might just be a Facebook and Instagram night. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but if not, I'll see you guys on Monday. We did go two hours, so you can't have no complaints. Sorry if I didn't get to you. Follow the YouTube page. Please follow it. Subscribe is the word. And like the videos as you watch them. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.